We're looking at the World Indicators data set, and I'd like to see which country gets the most tourism dollars. We'll use a table calculation to answer our questions, because this is a calculation that's dependent on the other data in the view. Quick table calculations can provide shortcuts to more complex calculations that you might use with your data, like rank. Once we have rank in the view, we can decide how to calculate it, how to display it, and whether we want to save it for later use. Let's label each of the countries by their rank in overall tourism dollars. We'll bring Tourism Inbound to Label and right-click to select a quick table calculation for rank. This appears in the view. Notice that the delta symbol appears on the field. This indicates that it's a table calculation. We can sort tourism to get a clear picture of what's going on. Huh. It looks like our ranking is sort of in the right order, but look at Egypt. It's clearly the top performer in Africa, but it's ranked 29. That's because it's ranked 29 out of all the countries. China, for example, is ranked number 7 overall. If we want to see the rank of each country in their own region, we can change the way the rank is computed to show by pane down. Just right-click the field again and select Compute Using Pane Down. Now Egypt is ranked number one and China is ranked number one. These countries are each number one in their own region, or pane. Particularly when you use rank, you may want to edit the table calculation. To do this, right-click the field and select Edit the Table Calculation. This brings up the Table Calculation dialog box. It's non-modal, which means that as we make these changes, the view updates. That can be helpful if you're trying things out. Here, we can change the type of computation, but we can also change the sort order. Is the number one country the one with the most tourism or the least? Descending is great for our calculation because it ranks the countries in descending order of their tourism. We can also change how we deal with duplicate values or when there's a tie. Do we want duplicate values or to skip some ranks in the case of a tie? We could also adjust the scope and direction of the calculation here. A tie, guys, when there are two countries ranked the same. Like they are both having the same average and the same rank. How are table calculations different from other type, types of calculated fields? Table calculations cannot be saved. Table calculations cannot be edited. Table calculations are calculated based on the data in the view. Table calculations are processed on the database level. I would say this and let's see, yeah. We can also use rank as an identifier for each of our countries. In order to do this, we want to pull the ranked field to rows in between region and country. However, before we do that, we first need to change the table calculation from a continuous to a discrete field. Now that the rank is discrete, we can nest it between other discrete fields in the view by dragging it to the row shelf. Using this trick to create a nested sort is particularly useful when you have one-to-many relationships between the dimensions in the view. So, what's really happening with this table calculation? Well, we can actually just take a look. Mm -hmm. If we double-click the field, it will open in the ad hoc calculation editor. This is using the rank function on the average of the tourism inbound field. We could make changes to the calculation if needed, but in this case it's fine. But it's nice to know you can check out how these quick table calcs are constructed. If you have a calculation you like and want to use in other views, you can save a table calculation. Unlike calculated fields, the table calculation is not automatically added to the data pane. If we drag the field to the measures pane, we're prompted to add a title to the field and it'll be saved. Keep in mind, when you use this field, it's dependent on the other fields in the view, and so it may need modification. If we bring it into the view, it will show a rank of 1. If we bring out region and the tourism inbound measure, we may want to update the scope to compute using table down.
This table calculation has a compute using value of table. Okay, compute using. If we change the value to sell, what do you expect the outcome to be? Oh, okay. Why would you think that they would all be ranked as one? Because it is in within the cell and the cell has only one value. You're just starting to explore the utility of quick table calculations, which are shortcuts to common table calculations. These calculations are performed within the context of the data in the view and can help you to add greater, more sophisticated analysis to your data. Okay, thank you.